going to do Project Tigra by BLK Dragon. I believe he said he would not be able to make it, unfortunately, but I had to do some stuff to make this work, like it has to be running in window mode, so let's see. So Project Tigra, two-dimensional platformer. Let's check this, check this out. I need to get out of here. So, okay, there we go. So it's analog stick. I'm using controller once again. Hold B to crouch. Oh, one, does down work? Okay, down works too. It's just harder because you have to do diagonal. All right. A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. You can get rid of those tutorial A to jump. I mean, I would hope by now people know you can jump higher by holding down A. I'm, I understand uh, the need to handhold to a degree, but it's not like... Oh, that's weird. So there, there must be some kind of wall slide mechanic that's interrupting uh, if you're up against the wall and you're jumping. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now, once again, reminder, everybody, I believe this one's in alpha. Yep, pre-alpha even. So this is a long way to go. This is build 305, which is a very low number for a video game. So, sparks. I can buy something with them. Just need to find a shrine. Okay, it didn't let me skip through that. On the to-do list, I'm sure, but I would recommend having it so you can skip through dialogue if you've heard it before. Sparks, sparks, sparks. What have we here? Search. Found the cell key. Okay, so there seems to be some kind of inventory. Press start and you can browse your items. Browse and use items. Hmm. So there are checkpoints, teleport. Okay, so you can actually place checkpoints in this game. That's pretty cool. Teleports allow you to travel to any previously visited gate stone. Don't know what that is yet. Projectile shield projects or protects from one dark projectile. Darkness protects any darkness damage for a limited time. This game does seem to run very smoothly. I like it. Uh, one thing I would recommend right off the bat, I think I just pulled up a debug menu by accident. Uh, it says to press start, and then there's a menu option for browse and use items. I th and that doesn't even seem to work anymore for some reason, but once again. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. What have I done? I've done something very bad, apparently. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. As I was saying, you press start, then you go to bring and use items. Let's see. Select is map to something. I would recommend find a way to get you directly into your inventory, aside from start, go to inventory. Inventory is always a good thing to just have mapped to something, so you don't have to go through menus to reach it. Because the inventory itself is a menu, and you never want your, your players to go deeper than one menu to re reach your stuff. So I can look around with the right... Oh, I like that. You can look around just by using the right uh, stick. Very nice. Checkpoints. So is that, like, in my inventory? No, I guess there's carryable checkpoints, and there are just some that are there. Level completion, 99%. I missed something. Well, being the ever-completionist that I am, we can't let that be. What did I miss? Did I miss a barrel somewhere or something? Oh, look at that. There it is. Can't reach it. I wish I could double jump or something. Gotta learn double jump. So it looks like this is something I'm going to have to come back to in the future. I would recommend not throwing a curveball like that right off the bat because uh, you, you give me that uh, summary at the end of how much is completed in the level. And then I, I, feel, I realize, oh, well, maybe I can complete it uh, if I find the last spark. But then I realize later, oh, I can't actually get to the spark yet. So... I'd recommend leaving that until after the level comp like, I guess you have to bring it up sometime, but I don't know. Can you actually go back here? Okay, so you can go back and forth between levels actually by walking to them. That's interesting. Uh, press, push it. Okay, push L while holding Y to perform a dash attack. Oh, okay. Uh, push is a little confusing because you can actually press down on the PS3, but I guess you can't do that on an Xbox controller, so never mind. <laughs> Dark pools are deadly. Don't touch them. Noted. What did I do to the poor Khajiit? I don't know. Apparently I, uh... Apparently I just made her a tiger instead. Sparks inside of crystals works for me. Ooh, it's getting dark. That's a nice effect. Dark spores are deadly. Something down there? I can't tell. Why is it so dark? dark crystal, right? Must be that, draining the light around it. Okay, that's a really cool effect, actually. I'm very impressed by, uh, and actually, did the clouds change, too, in the background? Or was that just the lighting changing that made them look... You know, the lighting just changed beautifully on those clouds. Like, they already have a hint of red in them, but the red really comes out when you get into the darkness. I like that a lot. That's beautiful. I think it just saps blue light from the, uh, from the background. Looks great. 
Need stronger attack. Hang on. There it is. Hmm. That feels a little stiff in the sense that it seems like you're not moving with the ground. You just kind of float a little bit. So once you hit the ground after the fact, you're like you're expecting to be on the ground already from a dash attack. I don't know. Maybe that'll come into play later with puzzles, so I won't question it just yet. Hold R1 to grab a wall. Press A. Okay, you see now, it would have been... So, now, hang on, just for the sake of testing. They were talking earlier about double jumping, but I'll bet you don't even need to double jump. I'll bet you can probably just use that wall grab back there, can't you? And if you can do that, I would have to question the point, why wouldn't you just tell me to wall grab then? That seems like a perfectly reasonable place to explain wall grabbing. Let's see... Nope, you can't. Okay, just making sure. I am sorry, game designer. I should never have doubted you. You clearly know what you're doing. <laughs> Does it translate to mouse and keyboard? Let's find out. Alright, so it's not WASD. It's actually left, right, up, and down. Uh, mouse does not appear... Okay, so Z is punch. Space is jump? No. Let's jump. I can't find the jump button just yet. That's the map. And it looks like... Okay, so they're doing like a Metroidvania thing. Uh, if you're doing a Metroidvania thing, I would probably recommend not uh, not giving me like level summaries on the way out. Because it gives me the false impression I'm not going to be able to come back. And that can make me really try to get that last spark. So I can't figure out the jump button. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Alright. So those checkpoints, can I like... Don't have any checkpoint artifacts. Never mind. I wonder if down the line I'm going to be able to remove those dark pools. So I guess only certain walls can actually be climbed like this. I'm guessing it's ones that have like this greenery around it. Jump. Nope, that was a bad jump. By which I mean I didn't actually jump. Oop. There we go. Yeah, so like, okay, I can see it visually. I can see that uh, like something like this could not be grabbed, obviously. Never mind. It can totally be grabbed. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just having trouble differentiating what could be grabbed and what couldn't be grabbed. Smooth stone, I guess, makes sense. You wouldn't be able to grab it that easily. What about this? Yeah, you can grab that. So it's like only that one part back there that I can't grab. Interesting. Yoink. Hey, congrats, Blue! Whee! I will say the controls are very smooth. I do like it. The wall jumping isn't that bad. It definitely needs a little bit of work because you can tell where, like, there are just some parts where you get stuck. But again, pre-alpha build, so completely forgivable. No bugs yet. I like that. The gameplay is very smooth. The tutorial stuff is pretty unobtrusive. Gives you a good idea of what's going on. Without being, like, overly annoying. Can't go that way. Haha. Press back to try... Okay. Don't get lost ever. Wait. Is that what it said? Don't get lost ever. That sounds like a threat. It's like, don't get lost. Ever. <laughs> I think there are some translation things here. It seems like it, at least. Because I've seen little, little things that don't quite add up. But it could just be, like, you know pre-alpha once again, so it's not like the dialogue matters much. Now, I'm wondering why some of the sparks are just in these purple things. They seem they seem more annoying than, like, uh, you know, challenging. Maybe it'll come into play later where, like, oh, shoot, I thought I jumped over that. Maybe it'll come into play later where it's like, oh, well, there's, uh, there's this spark you can get, but you gotta be able to punch it at just the right angle or whatever, but to me it seems like right now they're just more an annoyance than an actual challenge. They're just, like, they're compared to the easy-to-get sparks. The rope movement should definitely be quicker. If I can jump like this repeatedly and move faster, then what's the point of me just going like this the whole time? Highly recommend that gets changed up. So rope movement should be very, very quick. Let's see now. Ooh, that's a cool... Look at that design. I like that a lot. That's a beautiful aesthetic. It's like a very rudimentary 3D, but the whole shadow thing around it, very nice. Beware of the spider creature, so how do I avoid it? Aha! 
Just gotta be patient. Whoa, that got fucking big. Oh, shit. So I guess they do that now. So another situation where just a normal spark would be fine there. It's not really a challenge to take these out. It's just like, it's just an annoyance more than anything. Like right there, I just had to keep trying repeatedly until... <laughs> okay, obviously, once again, pre-alpha, totally forgivable that that happens. But if that's going to happen a lot, I mean, it's got to be obvious that you're floating on purpose. So what I would recommend with that is give give me some kind of indication that you're doing three hits and then you're exhausted. So three different animations, because if you look closely, you can see one, two, three, and that's when you actually can't do any more. Give me like, you know, a left, a right, and then a like hard down or something like that. Just some kind of indication that you have exhausted all the hits you can do in this one jump. Use the shrine. Okay, so this is where I can spend those sparks I got. So there's double jumping, where I can finally get that last spark, but I can't afford it. Fall jump, doesn't tell me what that is. I'm guessing a lot of these are not actually implemented yet. And I can't get the double jump just yet. Oh wait, artifacts? What's an artifact? Oh, I can buy these here, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Can you go to the second level and look if you can climb the bottom side of the flying island? Let's see. So I'm in the second level now, I believe. Oh, I'm in the third level. Let's find out. Oh, shoot. I vastly underestimated that. Oh, but hang on. Oh, I just realized there were barrels down there, so let's get those. Oh, and let's also make sure we get that. Alright, so let's grow, jump back to the second level. Once again, this, this part just feels really tedious. Could go a lot quicker. Alright. Kitty kick! Yeah, Kitty Kick would be good. Doesn't even have to be like a big slam or anything. Just like the kick. Alright, so. Go to the second level and look if you can climb the bottom side of the big island. Alright, let's find the big island first. I might be on top of it, actually. Oh, this big island I think he's talking about. Yep, this one right here. Alright, can I climb the bottom side? That didn't work at all. <laughs> that worked very poorly, I'd go as far as to say. But yeah, no, it didn't seem to, uh, unless there was something else I was supposed to try. Didn't seem to do it. Actually, I do have debug uh, things here. Is there... Okay, I can spawn whatever levels I need, if need be, for testing. I'm a developer. Fun fact for people just watching me for the first time who've never heard of me, I actually have tried to be a game developer quite a few times in my life. It's just I don't have the time. That's why I wanted to do this instead. Give a little something back to the game community. So I'd be glad to help out my game designer friends out there. And they're kind enough to offer up their goods. Come on. Come on. One more spark and I can finally double jump. Hmm. I feel like these should be a little bit more obvious that they're the expanding ones. They look... I see the difference now, but they look a little... similar. Then that could, again, just be because, like, hey, you know, it's still in progress. It's a pre-alpha, for goodness sake. Oh, that jump didn't happen. So I could get that, but uh, definitely consider changing the art style on the ones that expand. And I know you got to stick with the darkness theme, so maybe the shape can change or something? Hmm. This spider should probably spawn walking backwards since I'm going to have to wait for it anyway, because right now I'm just like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless I can kill it. I never actually tried fighting anything yet. But until I hit a checkpoint, I don't want to fight it again and then I have to walk all the way back. So far in my experience, all I've learned is anything that's dark, I shouldn't touch. Let's see. Yeah, no, don't touch it. So, you know, that's being conveyed properly. Hang on, I want to see if I can punch it. No, there's no way. So don't touch the spiders at all. Noted. Let's find one more spark, get my double jump, and see what is what. I do love that aesthetic of everything going dark like that. That's beautiful. Outstanding, even. Alright, let's get my double jump. 
But you see, now that I got the double jump, I really have no all the way back to level 1 to get that one spark that I didn't get. Now, maybe there's some way I don't know about yet to teleport over there. There, In fact, I'm sure there is, because there is an item called teleport in it. But even so, until I get that, I mean, if I didn't realize that teleport thing, I might try to walk all the way back, and that would feel like it would translate to a bad game experience. Oop. There we go. I'd recommend, uh, with the wall sliding, and I'm sure this on your to-do list as well, don't actually let me start sliding up the wall until... Okay, well, I guess it does do that sometimes, so that must be a bug then, where you, uh, start sliding up the wall while you're, uh, going. Yeah, definitely get rid of these purple things. They're just annoying more than anything. They should pulse before they expand as a timing cue. That's a good point, those expanding ones. Dark Ape. Oh, it's actually got health. So, finally, this, I guess, is my first fight with anything. Oh, come on! I'm an assassin, not a warrior. Ow. That was a bad plan. I can't tell if I have any health, so... The way I see it, as long as I don't die... Oh, okay. Well, he can knock me into that guy, I guess, and I can die. But other than that... Hmm. Really short range on the attack, which makes sense. I mean, I'm only punching, but still. If I could dash in the air, that'd be neat, but I'm sure that screws up a lot of the platforming. Oh! Bastard. I do like that you're starting me off with an enemy that can't, in that can't kill me directly. It can only kill me indirectly. That's a smart plan. Oh. He has good reach, though. I don't like that you're starting me off with an enemy that has insane reach while I only have... Ugh. And also, I can barely wall slide on him, which means I aim the wrong way when I touch him. So, I would really recommend against starting me off with an enemy that has such long reach. Look at that! I didn't even think he was going to reach me that far. Because I really got to get up there and deal what I can for damage before he just knocks me back. It's not exactly a fun boss fight. Phew, that was close. At least I can double jump my way. Oh, hello! <laughs> okay, I guess halfway down he just starts doing that. Which, again, another good way to kill me indirectly, and I'd probably just have to jump to avoid it. I just need to know it's coming. Sound cues or something would help with that, but obviously there's uh, minimal sound in this game so far, being a pre-alpha. But yeah, really gotta recommend against the long-reach enemy as your first boss. I wonder if I can jump over him. Yeah, but he just... Okay, well, at least that neutralizes the threat of getting kicked into that thing, so... You know, logically, I should've done that a lot sooner. I think the biggest, the big problem is his core is just so inward from the rest of his body. It's kind of tough to hit precisely. There we go. Got him. Does he give me anything? Bunch of sparks or anything? Nah, I just kind of get the pleasure of knowing he's dead. <laughs> A big uh, spark explosion would be pretty sweet. Thanks for playing the demo. Thanks for making the demo. There's really nothing left here, really. I'm sure if I went back, there's probably more I can explore in the uh, third area, but that's about all the time I can give to this game. Thank you very much to BLK Dragon for submitting this forward for me to check out. Looks good, and I look forward to seeing more out of it. Project Tigra, everybody. Crash it.